brother Dusty and his son Ledger uh, headed out to the West Desert because shed season opens tomorrow and it is the thing that they like to do so I was like great go go have fun I had to work this morning and then I was either going to go to the Baby Grand Canyon, a bike price, or I was going to go down to Gunlock Waterfalls Reservoir down towards St. George. I hadn't decided which one yet. Well, it's 10 o'clock. I headed to work. And I made it just outside of town. And Kevin calls like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm headed to work. You know that. He's like, uh, by now I already knew something was wrong. I'm like, why? What's going on? He's like, well, we need you to bring you our truck. I was like, why? You're clear out in the West Desert.
we just found this uh, rest stop. It says there's pictographs and pictographs in the area. I think we'll have to spend a lot more time down here. There's a little slot canyon called Little Wild Horse. There's the two state parks, Mill Site and Huntington State Park. Buckhorn Petroglyph Panel. <coughs> oh. Buckhorn Wells. I have never been down here. So this is all new to me. I don't know if you can see out past the fence. There's the Spanish Trail donkeys over there. Okay, yeah, well we're gonna walk over to the restrooms and then get on our way again. I will say the bathrooms are clean. Like, clean. Whoever cleans these bathrooms takes pride in their job because the women's was clean. Let's see what the men's look like. The men's is the same. Which really surprised me. So me and Charlie's gonna get back in the Denali and and head down the road some more. Well, the sign right here says Buckhorn Dinosaur Tracks. So. Me and Charlie's going to try and find these dinosaur tracks. Come on, Charlie. I'm not quite sure what type of dinosaurs we're looking for, but... Oh. We'll just follow this trail and see where it takes us. I've been all across this face right here, rock ledge face right here, and uh, I do not see any dinosaur footprints. Um, most of the time, when they find dinosaur footprints, they put rocks around them so they they stand down. Um, I do not see any of that and I don't see like a distinct trail. I mean there's lots of trails but none of them did I see any uh, dinosaur footprints on. So we're going to continue down the road and Me and Charlie made it to the Buckhorn Wash Petrograph Panel. Um, here is one of the first ones. Right here. It says two art forms and cultures were here. It says people of the Fremont culture picked their figures into the rocks about a thousand years ago. One may be a sheep. Pictures made by pecking into the rock are called petroglyphs. 
you can find more petroglyph panels to your left. Okay. All the way down this massive rock face. You guys, it is gorgeous down in here. And I've lived in Utah my entire life. And uh, I find new places all the time. So there's some right there. Old ones are really faded. You can see those. And then here is the other type that is actually painted on the rocks. Petroglyphs and petrographs. Okay, it says we are losing this precious artwork. Nature is slowly wiping the art off of the stone. This area shows three ways in which nature attacks the art. Wind, on the left is a faint art panel sanded off by wind and dust. Water is the center streaks of rainwater from high on the cliff are slowly covering a painting with mineral deposits. Three is ice. Under the long row of spots on the right, to, or the right, you see a large section of rock which may have broken away from ice forming behind it. Was there art on this panel before it broke? So right here. And then there's a huge panel right here. It goes all the way down this rock face. And it says, are these rain angels? It says the artist and their audience knew that the rock designs or fringe meant do you think it is rain or lines of power? Do you know that the long lines were carefully painted? It is not just dripped paint. And then there's some faded ones. You can barely see right there. And then that's it. Just got to the San Rafael swinging bridge. I, there's a couple rafters down here. a pretty cool bridge. It's really quiet down here. Oh, I almost fell. Well, there's parking on both sides of the bridge. Um, this bridge is now only pedestrians. There's a bridge right there that you can drive on. But be kind of cool to drive across this. But look at the 
wire that they used to hold this. I bet you my hand doesn't even go all the way around it. Almost. Almost all the way around. But I think there's... One, two, three, four, six wires there. You guys, it is gorgeous down here. Underneath the bridge. I love the old woodwork of bridges. So driving down the road, I uh, was in this fenced in area. This is quite the, the sinkhole. Watch out, Charlie, so you don't fall in there. It goes down quite a ways. There's a bucket down there, a computer down there. Uh, some cans. I think I've heard about this, but I don't see a sign that says what it is. Other than it's a sinkhole out here. Nope. Thought I'd share that with you guys. So, me and Charlie just got back. It is 1041. It is 72 degrees. And our trip today, Charlie, was exactly 303 miles from our driveway. As I turned into the driveway, it turned to 303. So not bad for a quick afternoon drive. We got to see a lot of land we didn't no existed. I've always wondered what was between Highway 6 and uh, Castledale, Hanksville. No, not Hanksville. Anyways, I think there's a lot of investigating to be done down there, Charlie. What do you think? Yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Bye.